Happy day one. Happy day one. That's definitely going in. Beauty and grace. Beauty and grace. January was challenging in a lot of ways, but I kept telling myself the moment I see, the moment we're on set and I see something on the monitor, I will be like, oh yeah. So that very first shot of John Cozart in front of the sign, once I saw how it looked, I was like, oh man, this is great. This is cool as hell. And just when you think you're safe asleep in your bed, you might come across a fellow who's lost his head. The first day was just really fun. The first day was fun to be able to discover this character and really play with all the really yummy lines was awesome. So both times that you raise the rent, think, think for a minute before you give him a number. Just for a like, tiny okay. little beat. Yeah. It's like, how much can I get out of this guy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I think for you, it's like, it's when you think about it, it's kind of three beats. There's the correct uh, yeah. 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 the reaction, oh. and then the withdrawal. Yeah. So it's those three yeah. Yeah. Never need to go faster than about 80% of what you would actually do. Oh, just take it like 30%. I don't want to be untoward, but here you got a butt flap there. I hope it's not open. Ah! <laughs> 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 Uh, I saw... And, action! Hey, Miss Martin, Mrs. Talk to Officer Meinhoff. Apparently, I'm housing a criminal. I'm raising your rent. Call it a hooligan tax. You know I can't pay anymore. Oh? Looks like you have a whole box of delicious goodies right here. Why oh, is everything so dirty? <gasps> oh. Oh, this is nice. Yes, Jeffrey will have to put this in the safe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tis I, Captain Davy, creating crow boats. I've got the light one, but you get the same idea. So I go ahead and pull out my sword and stab you! <laughs> I didn't, actually didn't know I was going to be on set as much as I was. I thought it was going to be just like you were going to truncate all of my stuff very quickly. But being there almost the whole time was like the biggest joy ever. It was like when we did Poe Party and I was there every day for that. And it was, I mean, it was just too much fun. I'm still like very happy to have done it <laughs> and grateful to have done it. What's your name? Can you, uh, Tom, give me a shrug, just like a shoulder shrug? Mm -hmm. Try it again. Happy day one! Yay! Happy day one! Wow. We did it. We did it. Wow, we did a lot. Well, it's like we shot the very beginning and the very end. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it tracks. Yeah. It yeah, will. It's just stressed out. Yeah, for both yeah, yeah. Of them. I can't wait to watch all of it. I only saw a little bit on monitor today. Everything was great. Yeah. On to day two! Here we go, settle, and action. So, does Kat need any help in the kitchen? She's finishing up. Any more vagrant sightings at the old Dutch house? No. Such a shame you got away after stabbing too big. Hey. Is this going to be your first shot as Katrina? It is. It is. Happy, Happy first shot. Katrina shot. It's so proud of it. <laughs> Four 
more beers! Four more beers! It, it's a real joy to be able to not only have the onset interactions that you would get normally, but to have them with people that you love and who you haven't seen for like two years sometimes, if not more. So being able to congregate again and create something as a unit is really, really cool to be able to do that again. Babes! Activist. Oh, I thought we changed it to Babes Ascendant. No, we changed it from Babes I just remember that I wanted, on your mark, get set, Babes. Did anybody write it down? Have you ever had a fake moustache before? A oh, like a girl. <laughs> Too many times. Oh, this is you. like... You had one in Poe Party, right? I had one in Poe Party. I've had one in so many plays. <laughs> Can you take that down, like, <laughs> octave-wise, by the time we get to find out? Find out. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm just whispering it. <laughs> and if your posture's just like, bad posture guy, yeah, you can even put, put your elbows on the table. Yeah. <laughs> and when you get up to leave, can you like, like full on your, your junk. <laughs> I notice it in all TV shows and movies. They don't eat? In eating scenes, they take one little yeah. yes. hair and it, yes. at dinner. So you're totally right, clearly. But if we overdo the picking, it, it, it looks funky. In your in your coverage, give us a few big bites. I'm not going to eat a single bite of any. <laughs> 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 Back on real quick. Can I say ow? Yeah, that's great. Is that okay? Okay. I liked it as an afterthought too. It takes a, a beat to like look at Ichabod and you can pull him okay, up. Okay, cool. Does that work? Yeah, that's cool. Great. What is it like doing at this point? He's leaning back really far in his chair from the dinner table and like looking at you guys. And he like hears you running down the stairs, leans back and looks and sees you scurrying out. Cool. Yeah. Settle, settle. Here we go. And action. Hey, how are ya? Yeah, I packed in a red zone, but they don't take it on weeknights. Nice to meet ya. I am Mac, and I uh, hope you don't mind from my donkeys. Um, this is my cousin, Mac. Mac. Mac, like Macintosh? Mac, like Mac Wahlberg. Here we go, and action! I can't imagine like a, a nicer set like certainly like the real not the real world but like other sets are not like that you know it didn't feel tiny it felt like it felt like a big ass deal it was a big deal action since last we saw our gang up hey you have to stop action Wrap for the day! Great day, everybody!
Do we fit in everything today that was on the schedule? Yes, we did! Wow! We did it! Inspire. The horseman moved on once her head was acquired. I feel like we talked about it a lot, like every day on set. We were like, this is magical and amazing, and it's so cool to be around all of our friends again, and just chatting and hanging out and having lunch, but also at the same time, balls of anxiety. Especially the first week being like, well, we're gonna shut down tomorrow. Like, Gabe's gonna get COVID and then we're gonna be done. Or like, Joe's gonna get COVID and he's, not, he's gonna have to Zoom direct from his house and it's going to be a nightmare and we're all gonna cry. But that didn't happen. So every day, we got a little more optimistic. Sean enters. I love that we're establishing right, your character in your last shot of yeah. this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Counting down. And in three, two, one. And where were you all night, Missy? Here we go, in three, two, one, action. I miss my mom. Yes. <laughs> I miss mine every day. Every single day. You know, she abandoned me when I was. Oh, wow. Uh, and you recovered quite well. I mean, look at that smile. This so smile. Well. Oh, this oh, my should be in Dentine commercials. Absolutely. Right? Dentine Pro V, is that the one? <laughs> I love it. Sensible like a Sensodyne? <laughs> oh, Sensodyne. Oh, thank you, thank you. you. Now, that's the charm I want to bring as me. Okay. With your support, I think I could get it. I can see that happen. Action rehearsal. Cat one! I don't think anyone's here. Uh, uh, after the beep. Beep. All right. I got the head. The body has just been brought into the morgue, and so I had to distract the head. I did it. I the tech. Oh. I, she chopped off so much head. <laughs> Long story short, I work in the morgue now. Yeah, but Matilda's not here. Oh, I got that coming too. No! No! <laughs> I've picked up more than just spells from the hitchhiker working with Matilda. And then this scene splits. We jump over here. Headless gets sat down. Got it around him. He comes to life. You're dead? Yeah, that old style got me. Finally got me. And you know what else? What else? Vara Mordecai, <laughs> let me tell you. It's an early hour around these parts lately. That guy sucks! <laughs> Paul, can you just toss the ukulele up in front of camera? And in three, two, one, go! We're so close. All this right, has been a great here. week, everybody. Thank you very, very much. All right, I don't have second here, so let's just tail slate it. Tail Tails. Tails. The way God intended. <laughs> Set. And action. Any sign of him? All I found was his bag and one of his Invisaligns. Oh, we gotta find him faster when his teeth start to move. No, I think we're alone on this one, game. All we have to do is figure out where Henrietta's head. I think we're alone on this one, team. All we have to do is figure out where Henrietta's 
Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> We have 30 minutes till we have retail. Week one, week one. Oh, there was a morning shoot with uh, you and Sean with with you and Sean and you're like doing this like little flirty scene and it was just so beautiful outside and I was just like, I knew exactly what kind of like thing we were making and I could see it like happening on, and also I just love you guys so much that watching you get to be different from yourselves was cool. My mom says change is change and that it happens whether we want it or not. That happens when your potter teacher stops from private lessons. Mm -hmm. Okay, go up. I can explain yeah. again. Mr. Van Winkle would use examples. You mean Rick Van Winkle? Teachers have first names? Fifteen box trot, take two, Mark. And set. There we go. Settle. And action. And hold hold. Let us know when you're set, Aaron. Got it. Here we go. And Go for it, Sean. Draw that face. And action. Bonkers idea, bro, but maybe we can get Matilda to help us? I mean, she might actually be able to get us a real hint. Well, finally, I get a mustache and a shipwreck. Look at that. Lauren doesn't get to have all the fun. It's so stupid, I love it. I mean, that's the best. You look like the shipwreck logo. I do. With the glasses and the mustache. Watching our amazing actor friends bring to life lines that we have been saying out loud and workshopping for years now to the point of I hated this script. Not in like I hated what we did, but I was like, if I have to open this document one more time, I think I will light my computer on fire. Like I don't want to work on this anymore. And then being on set and watching people say things that we wrote two years ago brought it to life and like a whole new way and I found myself like falling in love with it again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is good. We worked on this for a reason and it's amazing and these everyone brings something to it that makes it that elevates it to a whole nother level. Like we couldn't have done this with the wrong cast or like bad cast members. It it would have just been like an average like script with some funny lines here and there. But everyone is so amazing. Do fade not right now. Give me that booty! Another favorite moment was the give me that booty line. But at that point, I was actually worried that there weren't enough bloops. 
and I was like, are we not having fun? We're not having as much fun as we did before. Why aren't there bloopers? Why are we breaking down like in the middle of a scene? And then it happened and I was like, oh, this is why we, we, we're all better at this and we don't have time for this. And Joanna and I could not get through a take without cracking up. So in the moment that was very stressful, but now looking back on it, it was pretty fun. That was one of those lines that whenever we were going through the script for our 500th time, that was one of those lines that was still funny. We were very excited that Joanna got to say that. Action! Oh, hi, guys. Sorry, I just wanted to talk about not to stress you out anymore, but my dad wants to have a little for dinner tomorrow. Do you see how you're going Very poorly. Sweepstakes, you learner? Yeah, yeah, you, you are. Yeah, you get a lifetime supply of activia. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take some. Okay, I see you a little bit. Check. That's it right there. And yeah, action on rehearsal. Yeah, oh, we'll mail the yogurt to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, just look for like a yogurt. Oh my god, oh my god, I love this. Prankster becomes a pranky. And I think if you really follow them quickly, like, when they follow their pace, mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah. hurry out of there. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. great. That's fun. Here we go. Joey, get that crying going. And three, two, one, action. Close it. Guppy One here. Basement hatch is open for business. Baby Beluga. The last week especially, I was like sadder and sadder that every day was going by and I tried to like hold on to moments and enjoy things because I knew that eventually this would all be one happy memory like Poe Party is and it wasn't. I have to remember it was also a disaster nightmare where I cried every day. I didn't cry. I didn't cry at all. Just like... What a wet foot. Do we have a crash pad? We'll pause before this and we'll set you in place, Aaron yeah. and Ryan. We'll all be here okay. and then we'll give a countdown and then we'll get it. Okay. okay. And then we'll the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. My greatest pupil. I'm not even going to drink this. I'm trying to have nothing in it. My, my greatest. I'm not good at this. My greatest pupil. Yep. Oh, she's so, I don't think. I'm so sorry. So like, just aim at the other one. I didn't do sports. <laughs> My greatest pupil. And hold. Here we go. Count you down in three, two, one. My greatest pupil. Grab that glass. Go. And three, two, one. Trees. Henry travels north 
but this is a mutiny. Oh, there was so much good stuff you could have gotten over there. Oh, no, bruh. Wait, wait, wait. Get, get, get some so, is this a video? This is a video. Hell yeah. So, we've been in shorts all day, and it is... It's like uh, 10 hours now? Is this actually a video? Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Can you get a photo? 24 Alpha, take two. Shooting at Heritage, I think, was a real treat because it was summer camp. Because I kept calling it summer camp. Good for you, Devin. Sales, sales, sales. Let's sell it. Three, four, alpha, take one, Mark. Home and coming late. <laughs> like we would arrive and we were away from everyone like in the dead end street we're talking nobody around except us nerds just hanging out every day the reason that we all started to really gel with each other every day is because we were we didn't have to worry about leaving we just came everything was there we could leave it we knew what was going on it felt very much like coming to work and I think that that was so special. He's going out there. Uh, so it's essentially like, I knock pedal it down, and then I'm like, I gotta deal with you. Oh. And then it's all over. And I'm like, we're here. I liked the night shoot so much, because it was so beautiful in that church. And then having all of the, the like, the climax occurring, mm -hmm. I was like, we were getting like little snippets of it every 10 or 20 minutes when they would say, like, action. It was just cool. You like felt that energy. And action! Wrong, you have to find the head. Oh, you know, I can't let you have The overnight shoot, even though it wasn't overnight for me because I left at midnight, <laughs> that was my favorite day. And I remember being in the costume as the lights were on and Mary-Kate and I were fighting, which was so much fun to do with Mary-Kate. Oh my God. And I just remember at one point sitting there trying to do one of those like pictures in your head and be like, don't forget this because this is very special. Because the light was coming in the stained glass window that they set up and everyone was so, in such a good mood that day. That was, everyone had a huge smile on their face and they were so grateful. That was the best day. And then everyone got to sleep the next day. What's better than that? It was really, really a special, special moment. And everyone working together to really like make it as good as it could be because it was like, you know, the climax of the entire piece. So you could feel it was also a climax of the shoot. It was also like this, almost like right in the middle of it all. We knew we were walking into the last week. So there was also a lot of like, just good emotion all around. Our 
Overnight at the church was so hard, but there were a couple of great moments that night. One was um, the moment where uh, Felicia as Henrietta walks into her light in front of the window, and I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest, the coolest thing. Felicia Day sheathing that sword and then making me cry, even though I wasn't even on camera, um, when she's telling me about how powerful I am. And then in between takes, telling us like how hard the industry is and how you just have to keep like keeping on and how she, all these projects that she's been doing. Just being like, wow, you are having the same struggles as me. That was like a fun 11 p.m. moment. <laughs> what time is it, friends? 2 30. But the wrong one. No. The wrong 2 30. One of my favorite moments on set is John, of course, has this beautiful, haunting song where he explains everything that happened to Kat in the last episode, and it was two in the morning, it was freezing, we were all so tired, and we did it twice. He sang that entire song looking straight into my eyes. And yeah, I don't know. That's just gonna be a moment I'm never gonna forget. my friends, and I think you know how this story That was terrifying. Well, just the fact that like, we shot this like two or three minute one take song at like two or three in the morning. And it was like the last thing we were doing, it was freezing. And I was just like, how in the hell am I gonna do this in like two takes? Cause I, it was just hard. It was just really scary. And then I did not think I would have an eye line. For, and then you were just, you were just staring at me. And I was like, I don't know. It just wasn't planned. It was like serendipitous, but it felt like, right. I don't know. It was cool. The magic, it worked. Cat was alive, and long as Van Winkle a sleeping sheet arrived. Matilda felt guilty, but this was her bread and a life without hers to And can, can we, uh, Verla, make your icky got ticky a question? Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. And action.
How could you do this to me? After everything we've been through? A week before the two turning? We're, we're just hanging out, Ron. Yeah, even if we weren't, you and I haven't dated for like a decade. Who got you your job at the bowling alley? Who held your hair back last year at the autumn gala when you were barfing shrimp? So gross! So chunky! <laughs> oh, what's going on in this right here, you scrunky muckers? <laughs> Matt Mercer saying, What's the mayhaps and grumblings, you scronky bonkers? Which I don't remember writing, but I did. And to see him say that, drunk, falling onto Sean, was like career highs for me. Nah, many a tight and then old fans are tied down, Dr. Maybe, maybe, grow bones. Love of people who need loving. She's a new to give. That man's a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap on that first.
like the, um, the biannual. Hmm? The biannual big red reenactment. Fuck! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> the biannual reenactment of the 1776 Battle of White Plains. Cut the wrong end of the cannon in the 2015 show. Light off. And here comes Ryan. So my ex-wife, I was out of the business, but uh, we can say no to a final job. I just have one question. They do high or low. And this is how we steal our treasure. Hey, that's what I like to see. We like to buy two gorgeous ones. There were some moments when I was at Video Village just watching it and I forgot that we were filming. It felt like the actual episode. And I think I laughed out loud once. I, I may have like ruined a take, but it was really funny. So I, I you know, I'm, I'm only human. And action. Okay. Out. One more. Okay. That was great. Oh, no, sorry, we need Sean point. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you say it quick enough. <laughs> Action. In where? <laughs> <laughs> that was right. Action. Your pants. Whip out on this as he's talking. Like before he finished speaking. <laughs> and action. Wait, I'm a bird expert. <laughs> One more like that. <laughs> Wait, am I looking at camera? Right over camera. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. And right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and action. Wait, I'm like a bird expert. <laughs> okay, I do one more. Yeah. Then I'm not gonna do the bird. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna do it, right? Yeah. And action. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> I saw another woman in half of my magic show. She wasn't jealous, 
I just did the trick wrong and the lemon died and I went to jail for 10 years. Yeah. I just wish I could have talked to him before I started. Get a lay of the land, you know? Maybe so. That's a wrap on Heritage Square. And it just felt so nice to be able to be creative with such awesome people on such a fun script, doing something that I love in a place that I love, like every box was checked. So it was awesome. It was really, really, really fun. There's a lot of joy in here, and there's a lot of hopefulness, and there's a lot of community and togetherness, and I think that is what people are gonna respond to. They're gonna respond to people just having a great fucking time. And I think that's what the world needs a lot of.
Bravo, take two, Mark. Okay, and set. Here we go, and action. That's great. Good. Yeah, I'm just acting. <laughs> <laughs> set. Here we go, and Sinead. Please, no. No! That's nice, cut. Here we go, and action. <laughs> it's a choice. We did choice. that on purpose. Was that pretty? That was great. Beautiful. Yeah. And one like that. <laughs> this is as far as I go now. Take a box for you. Thank you. No. When he finally arrived at what is now known as the Hudson River, uh, you know, my stuff was awesome. Can you answer all of them? One more time. One more time. <laughs> when he finally arrived at the, what is now called the Hudson River, my colony was burgeoning. That's a cat, thank you. Sales. 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 That's Burgeon. lunch! Way far away. And way back. a wrap on Felicia! Yeah. 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 I don't know where this does end up. In terms of where it should, I believe that the sky is the limit for this kind of a project. I think that this is people writing at the top of their game, people performing at the top of their game, uh, a crew who came in at the top of their game and, and made it look so beautiful and so professional uh, and high quality. It breaks my brain if this does anything other than succeed across the board. No? This is it! <gasps> Headless! <laughs> we needed you for one more <laughs> Here we go, and action. I think I had so many moments where I was like, oh, it's finally hitting me. And horse was the last day and I was like watching the monitor and I looked over at Sinead and we were like, we got a horse. The horse is here. We're filming it. We raised so much money <laughs> this, to film this horse. And the horse did some rears and uh, horse was great. Then a look to each other, and then back to the horseman. That's nice. <laughs> That's a cut. Wrap on Odie. Great job, Odie. Goodbye. Good night, Odysseus. And cat fed far from the sea, and so someone else could intervene, intervene, intervene. Oh yeah. Who the hell are you? You're killing people now? 
No loose ends. Come on. Avenge me. <laughs> Wrap on Tom. What was just called? It's a rap. A rap on who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rap. 18, yeah. Action. We did our day at the ranch and I was like, oh no. Like I really tried that day. That was like our last day of principal photography. And from the morning to like the night when I was freezing and we were doing our last shot, I was just like, this is what you want. This is what you've been working for. Like, every moment is precious, and there's a horse. Right. That's a cut, and that's a wrap on Gabe and Sinead. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. One shot. Woo! Martini. Martini! Martini. Let's go, let's go. That's a cut, and a motherfucking wrap! <laughs> I'm so excited for people to see this world that we've built. I think it is truly unique and weird and wonderful and funny and haunting and chilling and it's just every flavor of the rainbow. There's so, there's so much here and I cannot wait to share it with everyone and I cannot wait to see people love it as much as we love it. I can't wait for people to fall in love with these characters. I can't wait to see the ships. I can't wait to see the fan art. I can't wait to see, yeah, I just can't wait for people to get to experience this show that we've been holding in our hearts and our brains for over two years already. It's gonna be really special. We did it. We did it. Thank you. Thank you. Everything I've seen you've been taking is amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. You did a wonderful job. That's fine. You did. Yay! Okay, let's go. Okay. Congratulations, Prasads. Any talent, I'll probably be in touch with you sometime. Yeah. Toy! Hell yeah, man, please. Toy! I would love it. <laughs> <laughs>
Sean, how do you feel about being slimed? Pretty good. I just feel nervous about it splattering everywhere. But uh, I'd rather change clothes. And I've been wanting to do this since watching Nickelodeon in the 90s. So. I mean the 2000s when I was born. Trevor 2. Trevor 2. I know. Will, you want Corey at the door, right? Yes, I want him to work. Mr. Doris. All right, everybody good? So, Sean, you just got sentenced. Slam, slam. Looking over there. And let's slime the boy. Oh. When did you have time to make all this slime? Oh. So I think people are going to like it. I hope they like it. And I hope it just continues to bring success to not only Shipwrecked, but like everyone who's been involved because everyone worked so hard. And it would be really nice to see all of our friends succeed. All right. <laughs> <laughs>